Here we're going to show you the section tool that is quick and easy and you can use it anywhere on the building. First of all you're going to activate it here from the top. You can see this button here and it gives you properties on the right hand side as well. And it allows you then to put a line anywhere you want it. So for instance I'm just going to use it here. I'm going to click here and you can see then depending on the direction you go the arrows will show you the direction that you're looking in for the section and it will label it like that. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to stretch it across here and it's pointing to the right hand side and let's do that across the whole building. Once you've done that it creates a section that you can then place anywhere on your drawing. So for now I'm going to place it here. You can also do an automatic alignment which will then automatically align it with the direction of your section. I'm going to switch that off for now so that it's horizontal. And then I'm going to place it. So I click again. What it's going to ask you now is to select the trusses or frames that you want to show in your section. And you can do this either by box, line or a lasso. I'm going to use line. And I'm basically going to stretch through all those trusses. Those are the ones I want to show. So I select them and you can see it appears because it's dynamic and then I also want to show the girder truss and all the valley trusses in that section so I click and drag across them with the line selection and you can see there we go holding down the control will help you to select all trusses so if I hold control and I select the trusses then I will get them added to that and you can see that. So if I hold control and I drag across these trusses, I can add them as well to the section. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to drag again across these trusses to deselect them. And that is the section tool.